4.5 Ta Puzzles Part 2 In this video, we will learn about how to solve the third and fourth order star puzzles. Fruity says, Appy, yesterday you helped me to solve second order star puzzles. Now I can solve any star puzzle. Appy says, Oh really? Come then, let's see. Can you solve this puzzle? This is a third order star puzzle. Can you fill it to get the two diagonal sums and a horizontal sum equal? Hey students, I'm sure that like Fruity, you can also solve this puzzle. So now, you can pause the video and try to solve the puzzle. He says, we know that in a calendar, the horizontal sum, vertical sum and the diagonal sums of a third order incomplete magic square are equal. So here, to fill this star, we can simply use the numbers in a third order incomplete magic square with the central number left out. Now you can see that the two diagonal sums and a horizontal sum are equal. Here, 1 and 17, 3 and 15, and 8 and 10 form the complementary pair. Hence, we can say that the order of the star puzzle is the number of complementary pairs making the star. After hearing Fruity's answer, Appy says, Absolutely correct. Now listen carefully to my second puzzle. Here are eight consecutive numbers. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Can you use them to fill the fourth order star puzzle? Dear students, Fruity is trying to solve the puzzle. You can also try to solve the puzzle by pausing the video. Come, now let's see how Fruity solves the puzzle. Fruity says, for this, we have to take equally placed number pairs. Here, these are the equally placed number pairs or complementary pairs and see their sums are equal. So by using these numbers we can fill the star like this. Here 13, 14, 15 and 16 are in four consecutive cells in a direction in which the hands of a clock move, that is, in the clockwise order, whereas 17, 18, 19 and 20 are in four consecutive cells in a direction opposite to which the hands of a clock move, that is, in an anti-clockwise order. Now see here, this is an additive sequence of 8 numbers. Here, these are the equally placed number pairs. So these are the complementary pairs. And see, their sum is also equal. So by using these numbers, we can fill the star like this. Hence, we can also use the 8 numbers in the additive sequence to fill a 4th order star puzzle. After hearing this, 
Appy says, Correct! Fantastic, Fruity! Now I believe that you can solve any star puzzle. So students, I hope that now you can also solve any star puzzle just like Fruity. So try to solve this star puzzle. This is a fourth order star puzzle. Can you fill it such that its vertical sum, horizontal sum and diagonal sum is 26? So I hope you understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video. See you later.